so the next thing that I would like to do is take this and mount it right there guys what's up how are we today everybody doing good so I um, I hung the shelf right that's in uh, I don't know yesterday's video or today's video I'm not really sure it's in one of those videos but anyway um, we were trying to get an LED kit I was looking through my LED parts to see if I could get something to fit and I couldn't get nothing uh, um, I didn't have one of the I had a bunch of males but I didn't have a female connector so anyway I reached out to the same people monster LED Aurora LEDs the same ones that make the uh, the uh, the box the Aurora box that I made and they're the same ones that have the LED lights for the whole thing they already got to so anyway they sent me a package so I thought I would go ahead and open it for y'all. So anyway, um, I reached out to them and I asked them if they, um, there it is. And I asked them if they could send me one. So they did. Um, I asked them for their monster. This is their monster version, okay? It's easy to install, easy to use, and it has 16 colors. Plus it's USB. But anyway, the best part about this one is it's a black strip. And there's a big difference between white strip LEDs and black strip LEDs. And the most important part to them is usually the, um, the black ones have better adhesive backing to them than the white ones do. So anyway, it opens up like that. It comes in a nice little ESD bag. I save my ESD bags, these, these bags I save them because when people buy RAM and components like and computer components from me on eBay, I ship them in an ESD bag. Um, of course I put them in a padded envelope and stuff, but anyway, it comes like this on a nice little reel, alright, and you see the black right there, great. And then when you dig into it a little bit more, you get the connector and then you get the controller. The control, oh wait a minute, hold on. No, this one doesn't have a controller. This is the controller. So you get a connector and you get a controller, which is really all you need, and then the rest of it's just the instruction manual. So anyway, this is going to go here. Let me walk y'all over here, because today we're working in here. I have to finish the rest of the roof, all right? But anyway, you guys see the LEDs that are blinking there, and then also I have an LED light strip let's see here right there all right so and then what they do is they run out through the back here and then same with this one right here I drilled a little hole and the foam is hiding it but this is my uh, you know my LED strip this runs right up underneath here so anyway we hung this shelf in here plug in my light that I built and let me unplug the pump okay. all right so this is the shelf that I put up yesterday okay I need to come in here with my saw and cut the nail off why this big old screw is protruding from this is because I used my um, my step ladder. I jammed it up in here like this and pushed up on it so that way I could put screws in the back and it would hold it. Now it's still a little bit wobbly but that's okay because we're only going to put boxes. We're just going to put light things on it. But anyway, um, we need to run an LED strip to this and the LED strip is going to just sit right up underneath it and then what we'll have to do is we'll have to drill us a little hole like right here all right so let's just kind of calculate how long it needs to be is this thing already twisting around on me? all right so well, that's awfully long Okay, I figure out how long it needs to be. 
Now let's, uh, now we gotta cut it. Cut it right there. All right, and just put that someplace. I like to tuck mine. Let's see here. Do I want it up close or do I want it in the back? I think I kind of want it in the back. So, anyway, and you just try to lay out as straight as line as you can get it. You know, I don't, I don't have to be a perfect line because nobody's going to see it anyway and even from a, a different location off of camera from the angles you still still won't see any imperfections because it'll just look like an LED stream all right and then you just kind of want to go back through and reseal it press it down make sure it's good and firm all right let's see how bad of a job I did uh, yep pretty pretty good there all right whatever it's close enough all right let me cut that off okay and then just kind of push our stuff back in and then we can seal it with some caulk on the other side and then I can come back in and fix fix these blemishes like here and here and here and I can fix that because I got a, a can of paint that matches now this LED strip is not long enough, so what I need is I need an LED, or uh, I need a USB extension cable, so I got one right here. I might actually need two of them. I'm not sure, we're gonna find out how much length we need. So this is our back control. The only problem is, is I'm out of room. So I'm gonna have to come up with a way to get those two to work. So I just got back from the store and I bought two of these. This is what I'm going to use to fix our little problem over there. like that and then boom there you go you can see that the lights are already blinking so you can definitely see it so what I'm gonna have to do <clears throat> I was wondering about that because these shelves you see they have a lip on them so does this one so it slightly hides plus that's where I hit that wood so I'm gonna have to fix that part but anyway that's where the LED sits and what I'm thinking about doing is gluing a ridge to it so that way you don't you don't see it but that's how it looks uh my buddy doug husky he's the um representative from amd for the eastern side of tennessee i think he's in marketing but um he has some boxes for me some ryzen boxes and some um graphics card boxes i think uh the ryzen chips and stuff i think they'll look good sitting here like that you know I can have a 5 and a 7 and then get a 3 that way I have all 3 series and stuff <clears throat> you know and then we have our other boxes over here okay so I think we're good to go for today 
that's it i'm done thank you so much for watching give me a like leave a comment and as always you guys be cool say but it looks fairly straight thumbs up now i just gotta cut the damn screw off or back it up a little and pull it out and then i'm gonna run rgb lights underneath that and that's gonna look cool